Today, Huawei launched a couple of devices, but the most intriguing to me is the sequel to a laptop that they made that I gave actually a glowing review to not that long ago, the MateBook X. Now we have the MateBook X Pro, and Huawei was kind enough to give me a very limited time with the device before it was released, and so I figured I would try to do one of my complete walkthroughs for you guys. If you're not familiar, these are where I kind of go through as many features as I possibly can on a device, just to give you as much information as possible should you want to maybe go buy this device in the future. So, with that said, let's get started. So first up, the styling. The device is available in a CNC machined aluminum body that comes in either space gray or mystic silver. It's very mystic. It weighs about 1.33 kilograms or 2.93 pounds, so it's definitely a light laptop. Once you open it though, there's something else you'll notice immediately. The bezels, or the, the lack of bezels, around the screen. Huawei says this device has a 91% screen to body ratio compared to the 88% of the last one and the 82% of the MacBook Pro. Now that screen is an LTPS 13 by nine inch three by two aspect ratio with a maximum brightness of 450 nits, an sRGB 100% color gamut, 1500 to one contrast ratio and a 3000 by 2000 pixel resolution. Oh, and it's also a touchscreen utilizing Gorilla Glass now compared to the last model. The keyboard is a similar clicky model that the last one had, but the trackpad is now larger, and Huawei claims it's the largest trackpad on a 14-inch laptop. Also, thankfully, it is a glass-covered precision trackpad. Surrounding the keyboard and trackpad is four speakers that are Dolby Atmos, and I have to admit, get pretty damn loud. <laughs> The device also has four microphones with noise cancellation for recording audio. Now on the left side, we have two USB-C ports, one with power delivery, and the other supports Thunderbolt 3, as well as our headphone jack. On the right, we have a regular USB port, and one thing you'll notice missing looking around the screen, a webcam. Huawei cleverly came up with the concept of putting it in the keyboard. You can tap the camera key, and up pops the one megapixel camera. To the right of this is the power button that also doubles as a fingerprint scanner that Huawei claims will get you from off to logged in in under eight seconds. Powering the device is a choice of an eighth gen Intel Core i7-8550U processor or an i5-8250U paired with either eight or 16 gigs of LPDDR3 2133 MHz RAM. For power, Huawei gives you the choice of either the Intel UHD Graphics 620 or a more proper NVIDIA GeForce MX150 with two gigs of GDR5 memory. For storage, you can choose a 256 gig or a 512 gig PCIe SSD. And for connectivity, we have 802.11a, b, g, n, a, c, 2.4 and five gigahertz two by two MIMO and Bluetooth 4.1. The battery in here is a 57.4 watt hour lithium polymer battery that they claim will do 12 hours of video playback on a single charge. Now software wise, it's running Windows 10, so it's the usual affair there, but Huawei has added a few apps like PC Manager to help with memory and battery usage, Microsoft Translator, a monitor manager, and an eye comfort mode to reduce blue light. There you guys, a complete walkthrough, as much as I could do in the limited time, uh, of the Huawei MateBook X. Pro. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this laptop, of these types of walkthroughs. I'm trying to do them as soon as I can, as opposed to whenever I have the device for a longer period of time. But let me know what you guys think, if that makes sense, or if you'd rather I do them later on. Love to hear from you guys, as always. Um, also, quick shout out to B&H for letting me borrow some equipment for this trip. If you can't tell, the video looks, well, it looks nicer. Uh, but if you want to see more of the equipment that I did use, you can click that link below to go check that out. Uh, they didn't sponsor this or anything, but they did let me borrow this, which was very kind of them. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please thumbs up it or share it. Also, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Uh, greatly appreciated all of the things. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching.